Welcome back to another three minute tutorial. Today we're gonna to talk about that evil, heinous glare on glasses, that lens glare, that reflection. <sighs> I hate it. I hate it. I hate it, precious. And you hate it too, and that's why you're here. So let's just assume that we already didn't do it right in camera. Sometimes you just can't. No matter what is going on, it's always better to nail it in camera if you can, but if you had done that, you wouldn't be here. So let's move forward. I made another cool video about this on another channel that I will link to in the description and you can check that out. And before you watch this tutorial, check out my tutorial on fixing red ears and my other one on frequency separation. This one builds on both of those. And so I'm gonna show you how to fix that reflection, one of the ways that I do it in Photoshop. But before we do that, just remember that I have a weekly photography podcast called Photobomb that I co-host with my good friend, Boo Ray Perry. And I will link to that in the description as well, as well as his excellent YouTube channel. So let's learn one cool way to fix that awful, awful reflection on glasses in Photoshop in less than three minutes. So start the timer. All right, before we get started, make sure that you review two other lessons of mine. One is gonna be removing red ears in Photoshop. The other is going to be my frequency separation. Letting both of those lessons will be in the description of this video if you wanna use them. Now the first thing we want to do, because this is a two-part process, is eliminate the color in these lenses. And so create a blank layer and grab your brush tool by hitting B on the keyboard or going over here to the left and selecting it. Now what you want to do is hold Alt or Option and use that dropper to select a really nice neutral color, something natural from around the eyes so we can cover up this magenta with it. And I've got this really nice brown color right here that's going to work. And so I'm going to, with my brush at 100% opacity, and the blend mode on normal, I'm gonna to start to paint over these magenta areas. Now you don't have to be exact exact, but do make sure you cover up all the discolored areas so that you don't have to go back and do this again. And you're gonna see that magically it's gonna remove this really gross color from the eyes. Let's take a look. Okay, cool. Now that that's done, we're gonna go over to the layer and we're gonna change the blend mode from normal to color and you can see right away that that color is a huge improvement and you could stop there and it's a lot better and you don't have to go any further but I like to take it a little step further with my frequency separation so for the sake of speed I'm going to flatten this layer rather than work on a whole bunch of layers and I'm going to use my frequency separation action to do the next bit which is going to be to blend those areas where the reflection of my main light and my reflector underneath have been caught in that film so grab the patch tool and then go to your frequency separation action and select your high frequency layer. This is gonna be the layer that affects texture. And I'm gonna kind of soften up those hard lines where the edges of the reflector and the edges of the light are showing. And this is gonna make them less noticeable. There you go. And then you're gonna grab your lasso tool by hitting L and go to that low frequency layer, which manages the tone on its own rather than the structure. And I'm gonna select the areas where these things are and I'm going to blend them. Hold shift key with your lasso if you want to select more than one area at a time. It speeds things up a little bit. And what this is going to do is going to blend those tones, make them a little more smooth so that they're a little less obvious. Now we're obviously not going to get perfection, uh, but we absolutely are going to get it a whole lot better. So feather that selection, eight or nine pixels usually works. And then you're going to use your Gaussian blur filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And usually at about 15 point, 15 pixels I find around there is usually pretty good and hit OK. So now we're going to deselect that and we're going to see what we've done with frequency separation. We really blended those reflections quite a bit nicely there and we're done. I'm going to flatten it just to make everybody mad. <laughs> and then here's the beginning. And then here's what we ended up with. Pretty good, huh? Not too bad, right? It's a problem that I've dealt with a lot, so I've got a couple of pretty good fixes that get it done pretty quickly, and hopefully that's useful to you. If you like the video, obviously hit like. If uh, you subscribe to the channel, that'll be cool too. I'd appreciate it. There's lots more videos like this and more on the way. In the comments, let me know what you think, or if you have a cool fix or a solution for this, besides send it to a retoucher to fix it for you, which you can always do, let me know. Also, if you've got an idea for a video that you'd like me to do, Put that in the comments too. I'd love to hear from you. Don't forget about the Photobomb podcast. There's a link to that in the description and I'll see you next time.